All right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. And so this week, supposedly on Wednesday ish, uh, the groundwork update is coming out. Now, System Era has had two live streams and they've talked about features that are coming out in the groundwork update. So uh, I'd stop right here because this video is going to have a ton of spoilers. If you don't want to know anything about the groundwork update, don't watch this video because I'm going to give away what they gave away as leaks. So here we go. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, early last week, Aaron and Joe went on to a developer stream talking about some of the improvements that they made to the vehicles. Before we get into that, yeah, Joe, you got some static on the line. I don't know what's going on with your microphones, whether you guys change microphones or whatever, man, but that is some bad stuff. So anyways, I here it is for you, just in case you didn't hear it. There we go. Now, now you can hear hey. us. Hello. Hello, my friends. How's everybody doing? Hi, everyone. What's up? Hey. Really excited to be here. Uh, static on the line? I, I attested this, and I heard no static, so either you're lying or you're right. I'm going to say you're maybe a little right. Also okay, so, yeah, that dude was right. But anyways, Aaron was and has been working on not only the jetpack, but also in fixing some of the vehicle stability inside of Astroneer. And so coming out in the groundwork update is the new code for the vehicle. Now we've heard vehicle over and over and over again since pre-alpha that this was it. But I think that they've got it nailed. So Aaron goes on to talk about that you know, they've got the stability down and that while you're in the air, you've got this uh, ability to be able to stabilize your vehicle as you're in flight. Well, you know, I don't want to say in flight, but uh, well, it, maybe yeah, it is when you're in flight. So, you, you know, it, when you do jumps and stuff like that in the rover, it was, you know, invariably you are flipping the rover over and it was completely unstable. Now, you've got to roll back a couple updates. Because when I was doing the DeSolo racetrack, I had built that racetrack specifically for the buggy. And then I don't remember what update they came out with, but uh, as soon as they came out with, I think it was like the summer update or the Maple update, um, the vehicle went all wonky, right? That track could no longer be run in the Rover anymore because the Rover would consistently flip over. That's what they've been working on. That's what Aaron has been working on are the vehicle updates and being able to give you that stability back. So he goes on to show off the stability with the vehicles now, whether it is, it doesn't matter, it spans all the vehicles. In addition to that, as a plus to that, they wound up giving us air control. So while we were in a jump, or while we even, in, they showed this with the thruster on, you're able to control the vehicle in the air to a certain extent with the thruster on, but definitely they were controlling the vehicle and it looked pretty interesting. You know, another one of the leaks that they showed during that particular stream was the horns. So you could see it off in the distance, there is a horn and they actually showed off the sound of the horn uh, towards the end of the live stream. Uh, oh, they're hearing yeah, game music. No, I think they're hearing more than that. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, cool. Here, what's now, that's a very interesting live stream. You guys should watch it. The link is in the description below. It does cover a lot of questions that were asked by the community. And, you know, I don't want to go through all the questions because the video was an hour long. The gist of the video is the vehicle updates. And, of course, they leaked the horn at that point in time. But mainly, like I said, it was focused solely on the vehicle updates and the new stability of the vehicle. If you go back and you watch the live stream, you'll get just a myriad of questions that are being asked. And, you know, there was nothing that hadn't been covered before. So I felt that I really didn't want to cover it this time around. So late last week, I, I believe it was Friday, they had another developer's stream, which covers some more of the items that are in the groundwork update. 
And there's some very cool stuff in this particular live stream. They're talking about the new paver system. And with the new paver, they're also talking about the new soil container, which is a T2 container that holds 16 canisters of soil. And this is specifically for the paver because Joe did show off that while he was paving with his vehicle, with the regular canisters, it was just eating through the soil like you wouldn't believe. So they needed some sort of larger container for soil so that you could, you know, continue to keep paving on without constantly having to run out. You know, I see this soil container, this T2 soil container. Man, I would love to see a large version of this container with the ability to be able to attach it up to the soil centrifuge or to a platform. I would love to have uh, a version of this container that holds gases so that we can hook that up to the chem lab. I mean, there's a lot of things that they can do with this container now. I love this concept of this container that's come out. The paver is just, it's mind blowing. So in the video, they showed the paver in conjunction with the drill and that you're able to drill and pave simultaneously. So you think about that for a second. You can go down in the rock, you can go across the mountains, and as you're drilling through, you're creating a road that you can drive on. I mean, this is, it's seamless too. It melds right into the existing terrain, and it's perfect. I, so this opens up an, a huge amount of possibilities for uh, racetracks and or just making your, you know, your base look cool or getting from point A to point B. Uh, with a you know a nice smooth road. I, I love the concept of this. With that change, they also made a change to how the drill UI looks. So it's actually transparent now. They made it so that, you know, one, one of the biggest problems of using the drill is that you can't really see the indicator. And so now you can see that through your vehicle. It actually bleeds through your vehicle. So instead of saying it's transparent, maybe it's visible while you're sitting in your vehicle and you can see through items. It's going to be interesting to see when I have like a, a soil centrifuge on there or, uh, you know, a, a bunch of large size storages with silos on there. It's going to be interesting to see if you could see that reticle as you're drilling down through because that was the biggest problem, right? You put high stuff on top of your vehicle. You can't see the drill reticle, the, the drill UI at all. But now it seems like they've solved that problem and they fixed that problem. I'm very excited to see this work. They also kind of gave a little bit of a hint of a first person kind of mode. Now, I don't know if this was just a, a weirdness of the camera angle, but they did hint at a first person, uh, I don't want to say first person perspective, but a vehicle perspective of uh, the camera so uh, looks kind of interesting again I don't know if this was a slip of Joe's camera but it did kind of look like this new perspective that they were talking about in the previous uh, developers live stream the other thing that they linked was they went to Atrox and they showed off you know some of the uh, Halloween kind of related items where there's a new plant which is a pumpkin and it drops seeds and it winds up producing uh, some faces on pumpkins. Joe had said that there are many different types of pumpkins with many different types of seeds. He didn't show them all. He only showed a handful of them. He also talked about that there are going to be new palettes specifically for this update and it will be on a limited time only thing. He had said that they're like the summer update, once you participate, you get a pallet. But then he had also said that there are some pallets that don't unlock until you do specific events or uh, unlock specific achievements. So that is going to be very cool and interesting to see. I'm sure that there's a bunch more inside of the groundwork update that they haven't shared yet. Of, of course, they're not going to give it all away. Uh, they're going to leave some for us uh, for when it comes out on Wednesday. And I'm pretty excited for it, not only for the paver. I mean, the paver is huge, in my opinion. But uh, but also, you know, some of the little things that they're going to come up with and that we're going to be able to play with when the uh, groundwork update comes out. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And I hope you guys are, too. 
All right, so that was my video on the groundwork update before it's come out, you know, so I don't have any patch notes or anything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not subscribers already, please subscribe. We've got a great community here. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. Remember to hit that notification button so that you know when I go live and when I post new videos. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.